shit. That's right. It's time for another episode of Record Roulette. For those of you who might be new to this, this is a new series of videos where I utilize the random item feature on Discogs, which has my entire vinyl collection, and whatever it selects, I immediately gotta get up and grab it and talk to you guys about it for a couple minutes or however long I decide to talk to you. Um, this is the third episode. So far, so good. You guys have been having fun. I've been having fun. Special treat today for uh, those of you who make it through the entire video. At the very end of this video, I will be debuting the brand new remix of the Record Roulette theme song. I know you're all big fans of the theme song. So am I. So it's already been remixed by a very not famous DJ. So look forward to that at the end of this episode. But for now, let's get random. All right, as usual, I am recording my screen as I'm doing this so you guys can see me make the selection and what it selects. And uh, let's just see what happens. All right, everybody, here we go. Random item. Muddy Mississippi Waters. Um, so my record collection is about 90% my shit and about 10% my wife's shit. Maybe even less her shit, but she has some shit in there. Um, not that this is shit. This is a pretty damn good album. Um, and uh, this is one of hers, Muddy Mississippi Waters Live, which is obviously a live Muddy Waters album. And um, I remember this is a 1979 pressing, and I believe this is from 1979. And uh, my wife, I remember, got this at a record convention. And it's not in very good shape, but it was one of those things where, you know, she was really interested in getting it. And they had this copy, and, and uh, honestly, the, the record itself is not too bad. You know, there you go. What is that, Blue blue Sky? I like that label. That's a really nice label. Um, I, I, I think I've only heard this once, um, but I remember liking it. I, I seem to remember this being Muddy Waters, like, electric. Like, it was a heavier Muddy Waters. It wasn't acoustic blues. It was electric. Well, I guess, yeah, you look on the back. He's playing electric guitar. So, uh, yeah. Starting this thing off with an album that I don't know much about, uh, but it's my wife's, and my wife rules, and uh, so does Muddy Waters. That was an interesting beginning, wasn't it? All right, let's jump right back into it, everybody. Random item. Once again, it's selected one of my wife's records. Um, now, in this particular case, I, I love this movie. It's a great fucking movie. Um, I'm not super big on the soundtrack, mostly because a lot of the music that's featured in the movie is not shit that I really dig. Um, some of it's okay. Um, what's on here? The Kinks. I like The Kinks. Velvet Underground. Eh, eh, eh. You know, um, Elvis Costello and the Attractions. Oh, it's got Jack, it's got Jack Black doing a Let's Get It On from the movie. And Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder's on the end. That's some other, all the other shit on it I, I could give or take. Um, but it's a great movie, and this is a 2016 repressing of this soundtrack. I don't even know if it was originally on vinyl or not, um, and I don't think this is anything special. This is just, you know, black vinyl. No, nothing to write home about. Um, but soundtrack aside, I have to say that High Fidelity is probably up there as one of, one of, one of my favorite movies. Maybe top 20 I don't know, there's a lot of movies I love, but um, this is one that, you know, it's one of those great movies that you put it on and you just have to like play it out because it's that fucking fun. Um, so uh, yeah, the High Fidelity soundtrack. <laughs> see, this truly is random, folks. Um, let's see if we get one of mine this time, all right? Here we go, random item. It really wants me to talk about my wife's records today. Um, at this point, I should just go grab her and have her talk about these, considering it's just completely ignoring the, the majority of the catalog, which is mine, but whatever. Dashboard Confessional is my wife's favorite band, um, so much so that she has, like, multiple versions of uh, some of his albums. Um, and I say his because it's essentially a dude and whoever he gets to play with him. Um, I don't know anything about this release. Um, this is from 2007. I'm thinking it's the original from 2007. Um, I know I've heard it because, you know, my wife has played these before. Um, and this one is just black vinyl. I don't, there you go. There you go. 
And the other side has a little heart. It's got a melty thing going on. Um, so yeah, <laughs> Dashboard Confessional, once again, something that is not um, something I would regularly listen to. It has its moments that I enjoy, um, but uh, the thing that I enjoy the most about them is that my wife loves them. So uh, this is a... Uh... <laughs> okay, normally I do five, so we've got two more to go. Um, let's see if it's gonna select one of mine this time. There we go, Power Mad. Absolute Power. The first full-length album from the band Power Mad. Um, I did a Bands You Should Know. One of the last Bands You Should Know episodes was on Power Mad. Maybe not the last one, but um, I don't really do those anymore because they, they're, they're, it's a lot of work, people, and not as fun as this right here. Um, but yeah, Power Mad, great thrash slash speed metal, great band. And obviously, if I did a Bands You Should Know, um, look, you even got some, there's some tape here. This one was ripped. Um, I don't know if this was taped when I got it or if I taped it. Um, who knows? But uh, this is a 1989 pressing on Reprise Records. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a great album. It's got, you know, everything you would want from, from sort of a late 80s thrash speed kind of combo. Great musicianship, great, great singing, um, great songs. Power Mad's a great band. I don't know what else I can say about it, but uh, yeah, absolute power. All right, folks, last record of the episode. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, random item. Ladies and gentlemen, we might as well just uh, ride this out. This is truly my wife's episode. Um, Hot Mulligan, it's, a, it's an emo group. Um, and this is from 2021. This is an EP that they did. Interestingly enough, I believe it was me that introduced my wife to this band because I know that she likes that emo kind of thing. And I just randomly heard this band. And I was like, I wonder if she would like it. Turns out she did a lot. Um, and this is a colored. Oh, this one's interesting because it's a colored vinyl, but it's it's literally just one color. But if you look on the back, it's got this weird thing. That you know, you don't, obviously you don't play that side, um, but the other side is just a transparent kind of blue green kind of thing. She has another version of this one uh, in a different color also, uh, but this is the one that it selected, the blue transparent version. Um, I don't know anything <laughs> about this band, um, and uh, and it's once again stuff that I wouldn't normally be listening to. I like some of the emo kind of stuff, but not a lot. Uh, but, you know, once again, my wife is really into Hot Mulligan. And uh, there you go. Wrapping up this uh, very special episode of... <laughs> I assure you, the majority of this shit behind me is mine. But um, the universe just wanted it to be about my wife this episode. And you know what? I have no problem with that. But as I said, special treat for all of you that hung out for this whole episode. Um, here is the special remix of the Record Roulette theme song. And that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time.